I've decided to do a little bit more modeling uh, on this before uh, doing the texturing. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this piece here, just move it up. Let's do a little bit of work just on that. So let's press the slash key, or slash, come in here and uh, control R. Just put an edge to bright in the middle, one for vertex selection and go into wireframe. I'm going to box select there and shift S, cursor selected. Bring my cursor there and switch over to 3D cursor. Now I'm going to grab uh, all of these points here. Let's see, maybe I need to grab all of these. Where do I just need these? Let's try. Uh, we're going to shear. Come down here, press shear. And start sliding this over. And I'm going to switch this to minus one. Just like that. Let's come back up here. So I've done that. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and I'm going to delete that. Select that. The 3D cursor is still there. So Shift D, rotate Z 180. And let's try just merge by distance. Let's see if I get everything. I think I did. Now, by the way, you're going to notice some funny stuff going on here. Uh, I had done some uh, marking of seams for UV unwrapping, so I'll work on that later. Anyways, let's select that and then turn that back to uh, medium point. And let's extrude up like this. Let's scale Z0, SZ0. Let's bring it right to about there. And let's E and S. Let's come out, put a little bit of a lip on this. Come on up. E and S. Let's do that. Let's come down. And then we're going to bring in a couple of edge loops here. One there. One on this side. And I'll put that there and split it. Okay, let's go ahead and save that. Oops. Forward slash to bring everything back. Um, might want to bring this up a little bit. Just grab all this stuff just to clear there a little bit. Maybe I'll even make this lip a little bit taller. Like that. So I got that, and then I was thinking I could take this piece, Shift D, and just drag it up here. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just select a piece and bring my 3D cursor there, so it's nice and central. And I am going to set the origin for this to the 3D cursor, and then geometry to origin, just to do that. And I'll come in, and I'm going to rotate X 180, just to get that piece there, maybe I'll, I'll scale it so it fits a bit better. Pull that up so we get a bit of thread. And what I was thinking for this is, this isn't exactly an old-fashioned, uh, you know, steam-operated light bulb. It's more of a steampunk sci-fi modernish thing. I don't know. It kind of reminds me of something that you'd see. Uh, in a lab or on a desk in a computer game like Doom. Um, I don't know if you see Doom in this, but but I do. Uh, and so what I'm gonna do is, uh, this knob is gonna turn the bulb on, and I'm gonna create um, a switch type thing that's going to be like a dimmer. All right, but it'd be sort of an old fashioned thing anyhow. And so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna come in here and what I want to select, I don't think I want to use any of that, so cursor selected. And I'm going to bring in a, uh, let's try just a cylinder. Let's go for 18. I'll leave the ends on for the moment. Mm 
Just a few other little pieces. Let's get rid of that end anyhow. Hmm. I don't know how I want to do this. Well, for the moment, let's bring that up. And now let's control B, come way back, roll my mouse up, get a nice round end, and shade smooth. And that's not quite what I want actually. So I'm going to take that and come out here. And I'm gonna pee, I'm gonna separate that. I'm gonna use that separately in a, in a minute. So now we'll take this E and S, we'll come in and down a bit. I might end up with a subdivision surface on this. Um, actually, maybe I'll uh, scale it in some more. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna bevel those edges with just uh, one, and I am gonna put on the subdivision even if it's just one. And this piece is going to be the top, but it's not going to be so rounded. It's going to be like that. E and S will come in, and then I'll come down a bit, just so it seems like it would fit. I'll do a control one on that as well. Okay. That may be a bit too sharp there. So let's control plus a few times and pull that down. More like that, and that piece is just, is it just a top? Okay, something like that, anyhow. Uh, can I grab a circle from here? Shift D, scale it a bit. Let's break it out with P. Rotate Y90. Let's give this a try now. I'm just gonna pull that, I'm gonna scale that down. And I'll pull that out. Maybe scale that out, we'll see. I'm not sure how big I want this, so I'm going to press uh, F and Control B. Roll my mouse up a bit to do that. Well, it's shade smooth. Yeah, that's not quite what I want yet. Scale Shift X. Let's pull it out. Select this edge here. Shift S, oops, Shift S, cursor is selected. Select the whole thing. I'm gonna switch to 3D cursor and Shift D, rotate Z 180. And, did I get that right? Did I not do 180? Let's do that again. Shift D, rotate Z 180. Eight zero. Okay, good. Go back to median point, and then wireframe will select both of those. And I'm going to Control E, bridge edge loops. But I'm going to turn on merge, and just start looking at this thing. Yeah, Control B. I might do something like that. not the perfect way to do this. Um, let's see, it comes to that line. That line. Now, does that seem too small? Let's just look at this, okay. I may or may not like that shape. to select, uh, I don't know if I need something else here. I 
think I might. Um, before I do anything else. What if I took this up? this stuff and um, I'm gonna move that into its own collection and I'm gonna call that um, switch pipe I guess or maybe pipe switch so alphabetically I got pipes and pipe switch and now I will take this piece and hope I'm happy with that Select this stuff and we'll move it in. And of course, I could say select that and do that, bring the 3D cursor there, and then I could take this. Set the origin of the 3D cursor, and I could rotate that in the Z if I wanted it, you know, a little off center or whatever. I could do that later though. So I got that now, and that's the <laughs> that's the dimmer switch for the bulbs. Turn it on, turn that, turn it up, and then I was thinking of just one more thing for now, anyhow, and that is let's just copy that. And I don't know if this is if this is a thing or not to do, but select those faces and go check or deselect and uh, inset, pull in a little bit, E and Alt S and pull down, and then one more edge loop. I know it's just so obvious, but and then you know maybe put a mission in there. I don't know. I just, I just thought, maybe. Well, can I just uh, set the origin of geometry on that, and my uh, uh, 3D cursor there, and then move it out, and then take this, set the origin of 3D cursor, and then set the geometry to origin. Be done with it. Uh, let's let's hide that and see if I like having that in there. So it looks stupid. You know, just something else. Um, does this need, now that I did that, does it need raised edges out here? And can I still do that? Like uh, in face selection. God. Oh, it's too small, maybe. Let's take these and scale them in the Z a little bit. These. I'm just saying, you know, do I need Alt S to push those out a little bit, and then maybe sharpen them up a bit? Does that help? Split that. I don't want too sharp. I guess I want sharp enough. Does that help, or does it not help? Well, again, it'll catch light, and I, uh, I don't know if it makes sense to have those and then the thread. 
who knows that piece is this a separate piece this one has the thread on it I mean these ones obviously do but I, I, I think maybe that does look better for that kind of thing and then if I have this kind of sickly glow coming from this because the glass has got you know dust and scratches and and stuff maybe this could also have like a green I know it becomes sci-fi it's not really so much steampunk but a little steam fi sci steam I think maybe this thing does need to be turned uh, I think it's going to bother me otherwise. Just leave it like that. Well, that's what I'm coming up with. The texturing, of course, will help, and I'll, I'll try to put some maybe text on the pipes, you know, like uh, you know, made in China or whatever uh, that you would typically see. But we'll, we'll, we'll see. Um, so I'll leave it at that for now and see if I want to come back and do any more modeling or move on to texturing.